Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction reading for January 8th through January 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. This is not your story. It's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind. As you watch and as you listen, if you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most honored. I'm always grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fiery, fun, freedom-loving, loving Sagittarius. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Sagittarius? Let's see, Sagittarius, what you got going on. Show me, spirit guides. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Look at all these wands. The temperance that's you showing up in your reading. Sagittarius <laughs> and the devil who said <sighs> well you know I, <laughs> you know Sagittarius you want to be wifey I, did this whoever this guy is you want to be wifey to him because but but here's the deal you have changed. He has not changed. I think in the past you guys have been together and neither one of you wanted to settle down. I really see that. I see this is someone that you've known for a while. You guys have kicked it for a while. You have fallen in love with him. I'm not saying he's not in love with you, but he is not. He's he's still noncommittal. You know, you started off this relationship. Well, let's just see how it goes. Let's just, you know, have fun together. But this relationship for you has evolved. For him, because that Knight of Wands is still in the beginning of this reading, that Knight of Wands is all about someone that is an on and off love, someone that's noncommittal, someone that can be a playboy, you know, someone that kind of has other women. But you want to be wifey to him. You're, you're, you're looking to be wifey. You're ready. You are ready. He's not ready. You are ready. But he's not ready because he's still out there. He's still out there. But you know what the thing is? There is still, when this Nine of Wands, um, you, you got, the Nine of Wands is in the middle of your reading, which means that you keep doing the same things and expecting a different result. And what I, what that means for me, is I see it intuitively, that you keep thinking and holding on and thinking you can change him and thinking, no, 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 you can't do that. He, he's only going to change if he wants to change. So you have to make up your mind that you're going to stay and, and hope, I guess, uh, you know, hope that he changes or you're going to leave and find someone that loves you the way you deserve to be loved and if you're ready to be married which you are then you need to find someone that is also ready to be married because any time more time that you spend with this man you're wasting the goodness that you can give to someone else and love someone else and someone can love on you because there's there's a lot of people out here that are looking for good people good looking for good women so you've got to figure out what you want to do because this you keep doing the same thing with this nine of wands and expecting a, a different result. That's the definition of insanity. The temperance card is there though. And, and, and here is a problem. Because the temperance card does represent Sagittarius. Um, sun sign. But here is the deal. It can be anyone. Remember but the, this is a general read. But the temperance card does represent the Sagittarius sun sign. But here is the deal. When you see the temperance card there. Temperance card is like. You know it's like. <laughs> It's like you, you're, um, I don't know, you're just, you, you, you've got a lot of time here. You've got a lot of time invested into this man. So you feel like you can be patient, you can wait, and you also feel like with this temperance card that you're going to miss him greatly because temperance card wants to get, wants, to, want it to, wants it to be smooth. You want things to be smooth. You want, you want things to come together. But how much time are you going to give him? How much more time are you going to give this man because you're ready. You're ready. And, you know, I hate to use that, that phrase that, you know, people say your clock is ticking. You want a family as well. But here's the problem. That devil card is there. 
the devil card can represent a Capricorn sun sign. But the devil card gets a bad rap because, you know, they say it, it's addictive. This relationship is addictive. This relationship is like you say you're going to walk away. You say you're not, you, you're going to be done with him. But you're, you, you're addicted to this behavior. You're addicted um, because you've known him. You've been in this situation for quite some time. But the thing is, is also that you're incredibly in love with this man. Because, see, the devil card can, for me, means incredibly in love as well. Because in order for you to love someone, to be in love with someone, you have to want to be around, to be obsessed. And I see you being obsessed with this man. Because, see, you have to be, you, you uh, there's an obsession with being around, they, being around someone when the devil card is here because, or it, when it shows that love symbol because, or when it, when the devil card, mm, I can't even get it together, but you, when the devil card is here, this is someone that's incredibly in love, but there's also an obsession here. Because see, and the reason I say you're in love is because when you are in love, you um, want to be around a person because their energy puts you on a high. And this person's energy, even though he, he he's on and off sometimes, he's non-committal, he does have other people. I think there's other people here as well, the women. However, he puts you on a high when you guys are in the, um, when you guys are on, you're on. But here's the deal. You got to figure out if you want to stay with him or if you want to find someone because, like I said, you're ready. You're ready for an, a, a relationship, but there's an obsession, and I'll say it again. You have an obsession with this relationship. You have an obsession with this man. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. Let me clarify the reading. Let's see what the spirit guys, what additional information the spirit guys are going to tell me about this relationship. Show me spirit guys. Sit back, relax. Cap, um, excuse, I said Capricorn. Well, Capricorn is on this board with that devil card. Maybe a Capricorn who you're dealing with. Um, but sit back, relax. Let's see what additional information. What additional information the spirit guys want to show you or want to tell you. So let's see. Show me spirit guys. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Show, show me. Why is the Knight of Wands here for my Sagittarius? Show me spirit guys. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you want, see, I, I, I tell you, you want to be married to him. But he, he, he lets you down every time. He makes you feel like, you know, you're unworthy. Um, you feel like you're just lost. But see, here's the deal. It's not you, and I hate to say, it's him. He's not ready to commit. It has nothing to do with you. He is just not ready to commit. You want this. You started this relationship with someone just on the fun basis, and you've fallen in love. And it's not to say that he doesn't love you. He just doesn't love you enough to commit to you. And you've got to make up your mind what you want to do because I see this Queen of Wands. And for me, the Queen of Wands is always about, it's about a commitment. It's about marriage for me. That's my wifey card for me. That Queen of Wands can be a Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. But the Queen of Wands is all is about wifey for me. So let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Huh. There's that seven. Seven of Wands. Look at all these wands in your, in your, this is all about action. This reading is all about action. Um, the seven of wands here is because hmm, he's, he's being defensive of why he's not marrying you. He's been very defensive. Seven of wands is being very defensive. Um, and, and really and truly you can't make someone want to marry. You just can't make someone be ready. But he's been very defensive. He's standing up. He's saying how he feels. And I can't get upset with him. I really can't. I can't get upset with him. So let's see what the Nine of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Three of Wands. You want a future. You want a future. But you, this is not your future if he's not going to commit to you. If he's not going to commit to marriage because you're ready, this is not your future. That Three of Wands, looking into the future. You're looking into the future. But here... With this nine of wands, which is in the middle of your reading. It's like you're doing the same thing, expecting different results. You keep trying and trying and trying and staying and saying he's going to change or you're going to change him. You're not going to change him. He has to change for himself. Just like you had to change for yourself. So let's see what the temperance card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the temperance card here? Show me what's going on. Why is the temperance card here for my Sagittarius? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the temperance card here? Ooh, well, the spirit guys definitely spoke. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. You're brokenhearted. 
this heartache here. You're going to miss him, yes, but he's not going to be, you, you know, you can't keep waiting and waiting for something. He's not ready to commit. You don't know if he'll ever be ready to commit. So let's see why the devil card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Ace of Swords, all about the truth. Yeah, you're obsessed with this, but will he ever commit? The truth is there. You know he's not because here, the spirit guys told you that three of swords, that's just heartache. Just heartache. Heart, heartache on top of heartache. But you've got to make the decision. Let's start at the beginning. Nine of Wands. This is someone that you love. Someone you've been, you've fallen in love with. It started out just as a relationship, having fun. You know, getting together every now and then. And you have fallen in love with him. He does love you, but he's not ready to commit. You're ready to be wifey. He did See that five of pentacles there? You feel like a loser because he's not ready to commit. But it's not your fault. He's just not ready to commit. I don't know if he'll ever be ready to commit. He was a playboy when you met him. He was an F-boy. I was like, oh, excuse me. But that's what I look at. He was that way when you met him. And you know what? You were out there do too doing your thing. But here is the seven of wands. He is making a clear. He's letting it be known. He's standing up for himself and saying, look, you're saying I want to be married. He's standing up for himself saying I don't want to be married yet. You both are standing up for yourself. Nine of Wands in the middle of the reading, though. That means you're still doing the same thing, going through the same thing with him. Um, you keep going over and over again, getting your head hit against the wall, or you're hitting your head against the wall because he's not changing. He's not changing. No matter how many times you have conversations, no matter conversation, how many times time you take time to speak to him about what you want, he's not changing. You want a future with that Three of Wands. You're letting him know. In addition, here you are showing up in your reading with that temperance card. You're being patient. You're, you're trying. You're just trying to stay there and trying to figure it out. But like I said, it's up to you. But the spirit guides to me have spoken to you because whomever I'm reading for, I don't know who this is. The three of swords is here. Now remember, the three of swords is heartbreak. And it's you, you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken because you want to be married. You're obsessed with him, and I'll say this again, you're obsessed with him, but not only are you obsessed with him, you're obsessed with being married. And that's what I think is, is, is the deciding factor. If you're ready, you're ready. Ace of Swords is there, and that means a truth card. That is my truth card. You see things clearly now, and I do believe that's why you're heartbroken, but you see things clearly. You know now. You're very clear about what you want. And you see things clearly. You know that he's not ready. And you don't know if he'll ever be ready. So let's see. What do my oracles have to say to you? Show me spirit, guys. What do my oracles have to say? Well, you know, I think this is good. I say, It says remain positive. I think that's really good. It says listen to your intuition. Hey, listen to your intuition. Women have that intuition. You've already communicated. So let's see what's going to happen. Let's see. Let's see. What, 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 what? Huh, that's interesting. This is interesting. I'm going to tell you what, this, what the oracles are saying. But this is interesting to me. Because the oracles are saying the situation will improve. It will improve. So, But right now, I don't know. I don't think you should, you should bet on it. I really don't think you should bet on it. But that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.